Hello, welcome to my lecture on Elegy written in a country churchyard, the poem written by Thomas Gray. So, in the course Introduction to Literature for the first semester of the BA English degree, the poem Elegy written in a country churchyard has been included. So, in today's lecture, I am going to start with the poem, the summary of it and the analytical outlook about the themes of the poem. Now, for an introduction about Thomas Gray, Thomas Gray lived between 1716 and 1771. He was a precursor of the romantic movement. Some of his prominent poems are Ode on the Spring, Hymn to Adversity, Ode on the Distant Prospect of Eton College, The Progress of Poesy, The Bard, The Elegy Written in a Country Churchyard. Thomas Gray's poems are known for its proclivity to the romantic movement, mostly for its admiration of nature, individuality and subjectivity. Elegy written in a country church here is a poem in 29 stanzas. It is written in iambic pentameter quatrains and it has an epilogue. It is commented upon as a poem on the unused human potential. Now I am going to explain about the themes and the versification in the poem Elegy written in a country churchyard. So for this, for, uh, for this video lesson, I have chosen the method of splitting the stanza into its epistemes and explain those epistemes in detail. The poet in the poem Elegy written in the country churchyard which is set in a village, the reader is given to presume that the poet is sitting by the steps of a churchyard and watching the villagers returning home after a day's toil. The poet listens to the knell of the ending day, now, the herd of cattle are moving slowly over the lee. The plowman moves home warily after a day's work. As the plowman leaves, the world and the poet are left in darkness. The landscape is glimmering in front of the eyes of the poet. So, which was glimmering so far, it gets dulled and the air is with a serious still stature. The churchyard gets gloomy after the day and the glimmer of the landscape gets dulled as the peasants return home. So, this is the word picture which the poet wants to draw. The poet draws and he opens up a scene of romanticism in which the beauty of the village is juxtaposed with the toil of the peasant. 
Now as the poet watches the churchyard and the workers returning home, he moves on to observe the sounds and beings in nature. The beetles are wimping and the drowsy tinklings lull the distant folds. The sound of the insects and the sound of the tiny birds, they knock at the poet's ears. As the day gets darkened, the owl hoots from the mopping tower. The poet hears the sound of the owl from the mopping tower. The beings of the night waken and they make sounds which remind the poet, which pin down the poet to the reality of the passing day. Now as he observes what is around him, he turns his eyes towards the cemetery beside the church, provoked to give a philosophical thought to his poem, to his poet's eye. Beneath the elm trees, the rugged forefathers of the village sleep. The elm trees near the church, beneath them, the forefathers of the village lie in their eternal sleep. They, the cemetery holds them within forever. The villagers who had lived and moved around in the village are no more now and they lie in their everlasting rest. So it is here that the poet takes a philosophical turn about existence in the village. So what is not visible before his eyes. The people who are not in the village, the people who, are, who have finished living in their village are resting in the cemetery. After the dark observation about the cemetery, the poet experiences or uh, picturizes about the mall in the hamlet the morning is bright and night fades away the swallowing birds and the birds which are twittering from the straw built shed announces the break of the day the cock is crowing in shrill voice again setting the day in motion for the dead may never raise from the eternal sleep the dead in the village may not may never rise and the poet again philosophizes saying that they will not or they will never experience any goodness in life and no more will they see, will they hear or will they experience anything that is good in life. They have become part and parcel of the cemetery. Now, all the goodness in life needs to reach its end. The poet saying that, the poet comes to the end of the poem. The anthem that he sings, the poem that he writes, the anthem that he sings about the village, it is swollen with a note of praise. Once their hearts would have been on fire, once the villagers would have lived to their fullest extent. So all the goodness in life needs to reach the end. As the villagers have reached their end and as they have their eternal rest in the cemetery.
he considers his poem as a note of praise for the village. He concludes that his mission is about praising the peasants. So as the woods make noise when wind pass by, as the day increases in its light, the beauty of the village is sparkling in the eyes of the poet. The village appears as if it's smiling. The peasant who is moving, he droops. There may be a woe inside him or he may have been left forlorn. There may be, there are two possibilities as the peasant walks by. He may be crazed with care or crossed in hopeless love. So as he moves by, he is, the poet finds that there may be two possibilities that he is facing as he walks. But as the poet tries to watch the peasant, one morning he missed him on the hill beside the village. Along the hearth in the hut and near his favorite tree, there was another poet. But the peasant who went by was not to be found anymore. So the last two stanzas takes a dimensional turn, takes a turn with expressionism where the poet blurs the lines between reality and what is imagined by the poet. As he describes the walk of the poet and as he describes the walk of the peasant and his disappearance, Thomas Gray gives the color of questionable expressionism in his poem. Now, some of the themes which are found in the poem are hard work, the life of the peasantry, nature through the eyes of the pre-romantic poet. He begins with the time of twilight and experiences the passage of night by the churchyard. Evening gives way to the gloom of the night and the day breaks with a bright ray of hope. The theme of music which is found in the poem is in the church knell. The rustling of leaves and the music of the rhythm of life in the village. Thank you.